Hi guys, it's another episode of Rap of Chips with Chips. My name is Victor Lao Shibiko, and in this episode, well, this episode, this episode is going to be educative, uh, and basically we are talking about purpose, purpose, and everything about purpose. So our guest today. Oh, let me say much about it. Yeah. Let me say much about it. But I feel it's it will be educative. This is what I was telling you. <laughs> so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is at Bishop News right there. This man, you know have a name, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, this episode, this man has has won most influential student in mass com right since 200 level. He won in 200 level, 300. That's right. 200. I feel so smart. You know, you're I was saying it's a tiny. <laughs> so, yeah. 200, 300, 400. Rosa. So, don't let us. There is a reason I called him here for this interview because there's a lot, a lot to, a lot to talk about. But, introduction. Sir, so introduce yourself, sir. Alright, guys. The name is Mayoko. What you be Mayoko? Uh, the nickname actually is Mayo. I used to be called Mayo 07 because I kind of like James Bond movies and uh, my best number is 7. But these days in this school, people call me Archbishop. Mostly that. Yeah, that's, that's the introduction right there. I'm uh, a math comm student and I love to blog. I'm a blogger and um, I'm a lover of people. I just love human beings. Working with people like great men like chefs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Set up for sharing the beauty with me. Thank you for the opportunity. So, yeah. My first encounter with this man. So we have been seen in Boja. He comes for um, production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andre yeah. Levy. So we just uh, but you could tell that this man is not mad. <laughs> you could tell. You could tell. So but we not get along like that. So the time we got along was convocation play. Yeah. So he was yeah. my roommate. We're together, me, him, and Salvation. Salvation. And, and, and something just clicked to me one night, and I started asking this man questions. And he told me so many things. So many things. <laughs> so I, I, I said, this thing is about purpose. So this man, nobody would explain purpose better than this man in this school. It's for us to learn, for me to learn, for we to learn. So I would just leave him to. You know what I've asked already. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. just, just, just start from this crash. Start from this crash. Well, he said uh, nobody will explain purpose better. I, I need to give it to my father as a life of daddy chaplain. I'm sure they'll do a better job. And the likes of uh, our former chapel president, uh, Peter, Iwo, as I call him, is the man who has invested in the study of. Uh, Books by Miles Muro, late Dr. Miles Muro, and that's the man that properly explained purpose. I think what struck Victor about that particular story is the fact that it wasn't uh, something I read from the internet. Uh, it was a personal story. Hmm. And uh, I think the way you asked me to sort of led to how I gave you the response. And yeah. I started, like the story from when I was in primary school, blah, blah, blah. Yes, and I read the exactly. book, my being casting on and all like that. <laughs> uh, well, Purpose, that's, that's a very solid topic because uh, purpose, it's, uh, it's quite a deep topic because it means different things to different people all over the world, mm. right? And um, sincerely, I feel so many people leave the world without finding their purpose in life. Mm. They just sort of like flow with the vibe, flow with the times. Let's not lie to ourselves. If you go to your class and start asking your classmates, there are so many of them who don't intend to be studying our course. There are so many of them that maybe it's just one thing about that course they like. Maybe 
I came to theater house because I've been seeing somebody on screen that I really like, or maybe I came to Mousecom because I've been seeing someone present on TV. <laughs> you know me say they like the other things if they attach to the course, right? Exactly. So, sometimes they just drift along, like, okay, everybody's writing jam, make I go write jam. Everybody, they go to school, make I go to school. And you notice that some people that really like make it in life, they don't follow that crowd behavior of okay, everybody they write exam, I shall write, my entire school, the likes of Dangote, Mark Zuckerberg. And it's not surprising that some people that sometimes excel so much, they take a different curve. Hmm. Even Pasadi Boy, uh, dear beloved visitor and general of Asia, he, he didn't start his school early, right? His life didn't just go straight up like that. He used oh. to say a story of for the first 18 years of his life, he had no shoes to wear. But somehow, God has a way of making people find their purpose. And uh, some of these people shoot so much into the limelight. Hmm. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's as a matter of trying at something, hmm. feeling at it, then realizing that there's much more to me. I'm not supposed to be feeling. I feel like I'm capable of so much. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Well, I started off in the science class, you know, I was doing well in junior secondary school. So, it sort of felt natural that I would proceed to science class. And the first time I spent in science class, I dropped by like, I think, three positions. And I used to be on top of the class. So, I was like, what's going on? And I was like, what's going on? Because I'm like, academics was like quite easy for me before then. <laughs> then I got into the science courses and... So I was looking like Ulaba <laughs> to an extent and I was trying to just like keep up. So I didn't really like discover then that I wasn't meant to be in science class. So to me it just felt like maybe I wasn't serious enough. In retrospect, I realized I was actually serious. I put in the same effort as I was putting back in junior school for me. Something in me was just telling me, you're not meant to be here, but just keep rocking it, Sha. We finished from there and that was all led to that story I told you about you know, reading Ben Carson's book and deciding in my life I'm just gonna be a doctor. Well, I believe most people know, but in case you don't know, Ben Carson is this great American neurosurgeon, black American who he, he did a lot of amazing surgeries. But one that really struck me as a child while reading his book was that uh, he separated two conjoint twins, uh, twins sorry, at the head. That was uh, a massive world science breakthrough. So I grew up just like many people in my time. Then we read the book, wanted to do great things like Ben Carson and maybe be a doctor. Mm. So we wrote science class and. There's something about purpose. Sometimes the things happening around you might point it out to you. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes you just have to like stop and look inward and be like, this is what they do. See, it makes sense. If it makes sense, hmm. does it make maximum sense? Because you can be able to succeed in many areas if you are multi talented. Hmm. And you might just find one of those lesser areas and not discover that there's a greater purpose for you. Hmm. Maybe somebody is doing backup singing. Let me say, I definitely go. He was there doing graphic design for YBNL. And one day, he just got on the mic, uh, sang Shadi, Lolly. Look at where he is now. He's doing music major. So, well, um, kept doing that science thing and wanted to go on to be a doctor, which I actually tried to do. Got into University of Ibadan. It wasn't like uh, an easy start because so I didn't make the cut off. But, like, I had that academic strength to at least push in. I got to biochemistry, studied more to transfer to medicine. Now, what I'm saying that is, I was able to cope academically with some of the demands, even though I struggled. But I was able to, like, just manage. As for a normal bad guy, yeah. it's it's really look, I mean, because they look like everybody has to stay there, too, too. But mm. sometimes that can be misleading. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes I have to stop and actually ask yourself. Fine, maybe I'm surviving here, but am I using so much strength to survive? Mm. Something will get, something will be your purpose, you're not supposed to stress. Mm. It should be so easy for you. Look at some of these content creators, for instance. Look at Mr. Macaron, look at Tauma, non stop. Every, like, almost every two days or something. Mm. Dropping content. If you enjoy something, eh, if it's your purpose, like, you don't go stress. You go just enjoy them. Huh? You just be cool. It's not natural. The idea will just keep coming, and while you're doing it, you enjoy what you're doing. Cool. So I was in medicine, not like exactly enjoying it, but like I you moved struggle. from, like you even passed to the extent that you moved from biochemistry to medicine. If you know it's about your purpose, you could just yeah. depend. Yeah. <laughs> so they, but no, no, but no, no but I know, I know, I know, I know. A, a brilliant guy finished from my secondary school. Mm. I wanted to move from um, psychology, okay, to law, mm. but. <laughs> that's what he thought. 
<laughs> but he, he couldn't even live up to the demand. Like he couldn't get so he just seemed uh, psychology. So they shocked me from biochemistry to medicine. <laughs> And yeah, that, no that, kind of work with that that's just the start of the story. I put a lot of work. God, night studying, you know, for academics, and that's where the trick is sometimes that deceives people. If you feel something for your head, cram them the night before, go pour them out. You know me say you're good for that thing. Mm. Now when you go practice, you go to say you no good. And that's what some of these guys are doing well, and that's why I like pollution in car story. If you say without knowing so much of book in your head, so to speak. You can get in the outside world and actually function. Because there's so much that is taught in school. You might be taking like 12, 14 courses. Maybe you are naturally good at just two. And maybe it's those two that you need in your actual life. Mm. Like guys that took entrepreneurship now, just some of them will go out and do business. And the course that they need with that. But the results school gives you is for all the courses. Mm. So person may not too strong for other areas. We just strong for like two, then we're gonna say now second class lower, now second class upper. You know me say that person no good. But school is just like a one size fits all kind of thing. Just gather everybody, study the same thing, read for the same period of time, take exam at the same time. You need to ask yourself sometimes, say, apart from what I'm seeing in my grades, what is really within me? Because hmm. we spend like four years in school. You spend like five years in school, if you like, go do masters. But at the end of the day, the people that are making the money is not really based on the stress they went through in school. It's not really mm. based on what they gained from school curriculum at all. Now just waiting for mm. I'm not trying to discover school. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to say yeah, that yeah. while trying to discover your purpose, you should sometimes look away from your grades. Mm. There are so many people that didn't finish with brilliant grades and they are doing well. Very good. Doing well outside means that they are surviving well for themselves. They are doing something that people feel is valuable. They are paying for it. And when I look at Tauma, I'm just like, I like your life. When I look at Tuni Head Notes, I'm like, I don't know why you read in school, I don't care where you read in school, but you're doing this so effortlessly. So I got into med school. We started, you know, doing all the things, wearing lab coat or what coat as they call it, going around. And I feel God allowed me to go that far because part of that experience helps me now in Mascom and I will explain why. But we got in there and it just came about at some point in time. I started feeling before the pressure was, I'm reading so hard to try to move on compared to when I was still in junior secondary school where I didn't have to struggle. Then later on, the struggle changed to like my emotional peace, my mental well being is not intact anymore. I'm feeling like I need to be somewhere out of here. And uh, that will bring me to the point of prayer. But wait, the, the, that, that time. Because I, I remember you explained something to me because I asked you. Were you on first class in medicine? Okay, okay. And yeah, you explained to us how they used to calculate grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. asking you the same thing. Were you on first class in medicine? Okay, they went exactly using first class, second class, and all those things. There's a professional course. You just like come, either you pass your courses and then you, or you do not pass and you do your receipt. But the year before I entered, the last grade I went to was a first class. Wow. But I don't tell you, say, if you come a night before, maybe go for it. You know, we say, you understand the first class. <laughs> no, 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 no. This first but, class. Uh uh, no, no. But, so uh, like this <laughs> man was a first class medicine student. First class medicine student. <laughs> this episode I've told you, this episode is going to <laughs> is going to like increase your mindset. It is going to make your mindset mature. Like you've not seen anything. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Well, before I get to the prayer part, let me just emphasize something Victor was saying the other time. Uh, it's possible that you're actually kind of like doing well in the school, but then your emotional well-being is not sinking well with the school. You feel they like study one course, you'll be saying when they ask you questions, you will just open out, they talk the theory. But say when they put you on the field, in practice, if you be a first class med student, say you they read, you they answer. Because academics is about as much of what the lecturer has said, as much of it as I can put mm. in my head, or as much of what I read that I can reproduce. And then they score you. I know they do practical mm. and everything. Eh? I'm not denying the fact. <laughs> you know, you just they try to do on the ability. On the ability, no big work. Okay, if it's first class, what are you trying to uh, say? That you're crummy. Leave that one. No, that's a joke. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that it, it takes much more than just scoring high grades. Yeah, yeah. It I takes know. your passion, your willingness, waking up every morning and feeling like I'm happy. You're in the right place. Exactly. I'm happy going to class. Don't be say. Now let's go to the prayer part. I've read a lot about people who feel like 
nah, nah, nah. All this Christian thing is too much. Is that is this? And at some point, it's going to make sense to me too. But the issue now is, I've had a real time experience with God yeah. that I can't begin to doubt some things anymore. Hmm. Even one stage, I can't pray, say God. I want to know what my actual purpose is. So, and I even feel the fact that I started praying that prayer it wasn't a matter of me wanting to pray. I feel like God just inspired me to start praying it because He wanted to take me somewhere. So I'll go to, there was a place called SMLS Field. People used to go and pray there back in UCH, the University College of Star mm-hmm. I'll go there every morning around 6 a.m. I'll go and pray. Pray like 30 minutes before I feel fulfilled. I'll go back. Of course, nothing was happening. I'll go back, prepare for school, go to school. Go to the clinic, go on ward rounds, sit, sick people, do all the normal things they do, collect patients and things like that. I kept praying and praying and praying and praying. It just got to one day, the burden was so much on me that I don't feel, I don't feel myself here anymore. Hmm. I feel like I need to be somewhere else. I don't know, I kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So there was this Sunday morning, I left from, I was going to go and officiate at fellowship, I was at next school there. The body was so heavy on my heart. I left there and on the normal day I won't go to SMLS on a Sunday morning because we have church. But I couldn't just go on to church. I left there and went to SMLS feet. I began to pray. And uh, I heard God say clearly. Before too, when I used to hear men of God, the only person that I really trusted, whenever I said God said to me, was Pastor Liboye, and I still believe him till now. <laughs> But like before that, I used to see some people as well. Uh, say, God, get your time. Maybe say, God, go. I used to feel like God will leave in job. God, God follow, follow you. God. <laughs> who, 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 who. I was praying. And then, because it was Sunday, everybody that used to come and pray around, they don't, everybody don't go to church. So nobody did. I did pray and I heard, leave medical school. The fact that I was alone, I called the one that said, would they follow me, talk this talk? <laughs> so, I held on to that. <laughs> that same <laughs> day, to, to show that, not the ordinary word. Yeah. That same day, I packed my bags. Went home to meet my parents. Like say they use something follow you talk. I tell you that this was troubling my heart so much yeah. that I could not just remain there. Man. And that day after packing my bags, I don't know what was doing me. So that since something was controlling me, but I still me they think. Mm. But something they pushed me to do what I had no plan to do. As I was leaving, I looked back at Alexander Brown Hall. That was the central hotel where the medical students were saying. Mm. I looked back and I told myself, I looked at the building, the right name for him, like the right for it. I was like, I'm not coming back here at this day. Something in me, I just made up my mind that that is the end of it. I'm not doing this anymore. Went on to tell my parents, and uh, I've never shared this story before with anybody. I, I don't usually share this story, Sha, but I'll share with you because you're special. So basically, I went home, I had to like, tell my parents that I wasn't doing that course anymore. And long story short, um, my parents are very supportive people, and um, like that, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what every child. Mm. Like that's just what every child can pray for in his life. I'm blessed, wonderful parents. Your your parents should just support you. You see that yeah. they want to do this, a sam. Mm-hmm. That they want to do that, a sam. Mm-hmm. Like nah, I'm, I'm happy for you because I, I think one of the things that boosted it was I told them before. I measured it in hundred level that I didn't really want to do the course. I got encouraged a little bit, but it felt like maybe I was daunted by all the work in school and everything. I just entered uni. Maybe I was feeling scared, and they encouraged me. And I was not so sure what I wanted to do too. I had must come in mind as a distant thing that I thought of years ago as far. And I, I don't like to do this thing, you know, but like it wasn't so strong in my mm-hmm. mind until. And that's one of the reasons I'm saying I feel God purposely allowed that phase of my life. Some of us, our purpose is not just to find our own calling. Our purpose is in the in the process of our journey and discovery of ourselves to also inspire others. I feel like God had that in mind too because I, I know at least a few people who, after I left med school and then by God's grace I started doing well enough in my new course. They felt inspired by it. Which new course? <laughs> Mass communication. Don't, don't, my you, don't, you, you don't jump one side. <laughs> How did you move from medicine? You shall have to hear the backstory. <laughs> you don't lose that process. Okay, okay. I, okay. Now, science you do for jump now. I understand, I understand. So, after leaving med school, like after settling with my parents, I wanted to leave and they agreed that I should leave. The next phase was you don't have any arts courses in your work. You know what that means already. I had to go back to school to do a hike. I wrote it the first time, background. I was like, well, it's not all over because I'm not going back there. It's med school. I wrote it the second time and by the special grace of God, I failed again. Did you go to the special grace of God? 
Oh, when I ask him, I went to special center. I don't go to special center. No, no. The, 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 was it that you went to school? Oh, I homeschooled myself. Don't you, forget you that. like you. I was, government, just, I was reading. Uh, the, only thing, the only thing I went for was, I, I think I did math lessons because I think like some of those formulas they don't use. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did math lessons. But the rest, the, I mean, the, the mind to read and understand was always there. That was part of the tricks that helped me while I was still struggling in med school. Mm. So, uh, most of the time I was alone by myself. If there's one thing I gained from med school, and it's still one of the reasons I feel like I have to be there first before coming to mass One of the things I gained from med school is reading without being tired. <laughs> you, you, there, as you are leaving the world, I you are going to your hostel, you are reading. As you are leaving from Captain, you are reading. As you are on the world, any small space, because there's so much good to learn. Good, good, good. <laughs> so that thing like inspired in me like an effortless nature for reading. Like reading is just, uh, it's normal. It's just like breathing, just carry book start processing what's in there. So I spent most of my time studying. Each time I failed because I knew I wasn't going back to med school. I didn't feel so sad. I was like, well, there are people who wrote Jambo like eight, nine times and they are still living. So I just felt a form of enjoyment in what I was doing, which is another reason why I believe uh, God was involved in this. Hmm. I was saying the other time that I know some people try to say religion is all crap, is all this. There's too much personal experience for me to start saying nonsense. Now. Lie, lie, lie. But God has like shown me firsthand that boy, lie, lie. life is not just based on what you're saying or just mm. experiencing physically. Studied all those things, and by the third time I tried, by God's grace, I made it. I made the wire and you should be wondering though, why from UI down to the Mass University? Well, for one issue, the issue of strike. I don't want the situation whereby Okay, you wanted to even continue with UI. Yeah, that was an option on the table, but the issue of strike was there. The lie, I haven't wasted. No, I, won't, I don't call it waste. I, mean, I call it investment in what God wanted me to do later mm. on. But like, would I have spent that much time doing a course I didn't get a degree for and then now it's been made by strikes. That'd be very frustrating for me. For remaining seven years, right? Yeah, seven years. I left in the third year. Thereabouts. I left in my third year. So I was going on now to Redeemers University and this is another reason why I know God was in place for me. That required a lot of money. That required a lot of emotional stability to know you can actually forge on in a course where I've never been. I'd only thought of it like I have interest in this thing. And now, after starting to write Jam, Wyke, praying more and everything, of course, the sense of purpose was growing more. I began to now observe that even while I was in med school, I was doing some things that no be med school they do them. No be med student they do this kind of thing. Nah. Mass confidence. I started content creation then. On a low, of course, because med school was crazy busy. But then my mates knew me for loving to write. I just I just love to write. Like I just loved it. Like that's something you had to like sit me down to ask me if I wanted to do it. It just yeah. came naturally. And that's one of the reasons why you find your purpose. There's just something you like to do. We know people that like to dance. We, yeah, we they, know they, Mandy. Yeah. We know one of the crew members uh, Thelma, right? Yeah. They love to dance. They can be dancing 24 7. The other one too dances you. Okay. I think we should, <laughs> we should measure them in the credits. So sometimes you just see that I enjoy doing these things so much. That's the purpose coming out to me. Hmm. When I go out there, there's one song I wrote before I left UI. It's deep, it's strong. Girls have never used it for any of my freestyles because it's going to be like a proper studio stuff. And in that song, I chronicled the life of a boy who wanted to do something nothing related to academics and he forced him to go to school. An interesting song. Yeah, she just keeps. Stay tuned. No ma. I will jump it on that bishop news. I'm sure in the time comes. Okay, so um, that's just one part of the creative aspect of creating content and uh, communicating that was in me all along. But I was just saying let's go do science, let's go do medicine. Okay. But I keep telling you I don't regret any part of it because some of us that our journey was meant to go. Yeah. yeah. So eventually I got into Edimas University. Don't forget that I was reading this thing. In, people study literature and all those things for three years in school senior secondary school one to SS3. I had a few months to all the space between the three YX were in a total of maybe 15 months. One of them was wow. GC, not like mm -hmm. the school school YX. One of them was another GC that they were doing for private candidates mm. a few months after. And then one of them was now the standard school YX. So it was like I had nothing less than, nothing more than say 15 months to learn all that syllabus by myself. Wow. So when I got into even this school, I wasn't like fully grounded. In some of those courses, but I don't have anything else, but go help me. We go rough, <laughs> and I also went in with this aim that look in life, 
don't be the person we get for class. They really, it's not, it's not by force. My only is just to at least go in and get the understanding of what mass comm is about. Apply mm. it to my life. And by the special grace of God, like play, like play. Mm-hmm. This first like this, 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 this is the best thing somebody can ever ask for. Mm. You know, it, it's another thing to be in one, one department. And change it to another department. And something and, there. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, success, success is subjective. Let me tip down here. I have to take risks sometimes. Yes. I wasn't so sure starting. Mm. See, eh, leaving med school was like a thing I was sure because I told you a voice told me. Yeah, yeah. Along with the voice came this strong impression on my heart that carry your bag, go. Like, don't, 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 don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> but going in there and knowing that I will succeed, it was just a leap of faith. Like, mm. my triumph. Say good work. At this man, I try him. You know, I can't come back after a year and say, Daddy, I'm not doing it. No, no. At this point, no supportive parents will still be supporting. <laughs> after <laughs> spending money, money and all the emotional trauma or no. whatever. But I just thank God. Because people look at my grades now like you're doing so well, you're scoring high. But like, it's not nice. the grades I even look at. It's the matter of, I've learned so much. And let me just use the opportunity to thank my lecturers. I love them so much, including this Mr. Siri. He taught me history of mass media in the level. Unfortunately, he passed before we came on these exams. But hmm. I love my lecturers so much because every moment in class for me is like I left something behind to be here. Hmm. And you guys are showing me the reason for why I'm here. You guys are like defining my purpose for me. Hmm. And I love Redeemers University for something. I don't know about other departments, hmm. but my department. The parents, the lecturers there are like real parents. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. They're just the way you fall in love with your lecturers. When I know that all these other things like assignments that choke you are there, <laughs> all these things like the <laughs> lectures, but if you deep down any mass confidence to tell you that they really appreciate what's going on in mass com, at least I personally do. And uh, so we got in and Little by little, semester after semester, up till now, God has been faithful. We've been surviving. I don't mean surviving. Now on a cup, <laughs> we've been doing great in Mascom. Here we are. God is helping us. And um, but I actually, actually like Mascom. Like their uh, their launch was the second best. I love the theater too. So, man, don't mention that. Yeah, one. that was the best. You know why I came in? Just, no, not just dinner now. <laughs> like, no, your department for you. Definitely. Like, one reason I'm telling you that this day I'm opening up to you about my story is, you know, the bond we shared, like, right after that convocation play. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's something about theater that if I have my way, maybe in another life, when I'm like, okay, I don't do mask on. You do masters in theater. There's something. I don't know how to do that because I love mask on so much. I don't want to leave it totally. But, like, there's something about theater that. You noticed that every moment that we had the answer, I was back in Andre Level. I always yeah, came ready. Yeah. Yes. There was something about the lecturer, too. Mr. Kulia Bobo. That's the best lecturer for life. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Buga. You know, this is the game, but like, there was yeah. something about his way of communicating. He said the humor. He made things come alive and interesting. Damn in the theater. So, Before, uh, you know, you know, when the man left, he, it was so hard for us to to get some things together in the department. Uh, the 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 man the, the way the man does like you you will know that this man is just a father. Yeah, it's so funny because ah, I have been with that art, yeah. and I told people that that man is my best lecturer. And, and he called <laughs> and you. I, I consider him a mentor till today. You, you know, he called you. He called you for um convocation. Yeah, that's that's like that was my mass That was like You know, mass <laughs> students don't call for convocation. Know, know, like know. it's like a contracted something mm. with um set out. Mm. But he called you and you were even our uh, was it production Continue manager? Continue 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 Continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just telling it there. Yeah, no, no, no. The, the man, the man, he knows how to. He knows how to. He can. He can discover somebody's. This thing, so I call you purpose now. Mm. But but he knows. He does. He has his way around that. He can okay. bring somebody that is just do, that does not know how to and mm. make the yeah, person yeah, act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Bugulu, we we'll give you a flower. That's another thing about purpose, though. You need people up ahead to keep encouraging mm. you. I you know I had to give a summary of the story, but along the way, while leaving, I had a lot of people I had to meet. This one I want to do. I've not done it before. Nobody, I've not done this before. Mm. What should I do? What steps should I take to make sure? I don't just make a rash decision that I will regret later on in life. And I had people who were mentoring me. I didn't meet Dr. Boga until I, uh, Mr. Bogunoko, but we call him that. I didn't meet him until I got to this school, of course, but I shared my story with him. 
He's been very encouraging since then. Even the little things I do, when I do small, small music for background, I just send out to him. And he's always helping me. So, like, you need people like that, that outside your family circle, people that you know that can speak to you and, like, direct your life. People that you know that when you are feeling, uh, when you are feeling afraid and discouraged. Because, and the reason I'm sometimes saying my musical album, this guy come on school. Mm. Let him make a day show thing will succeed for what one go do. But some of us be like, so hey, it's America. Nah, it's not, it's not everybody who has dropped out, right? They are really picked up something great. Some of them are doing well, but not like at that extent. So mm. I feel like you just need people to merge with your sense of purpose and keep encouraging you and be mm. prayerful. I don't know how else to tell you. You're going to need Jesus for your life. Uh, you need your way you carry. You're going to need God. God. Uh, look around now. Don't be, don't be man. Create all these things. There's, there's a stronger force. Of <laughs> so yeah, God Ato. creates purpose and is the one that will help you discover. So, that's the thing about sense of purpose. Do it because you enjoy it. Mm. Go to class every day because you want to learn. Put in your effort. Go to class time. every day. Tell me. <laughs> Put in the effort because you want to learn, listen to your lecturers, pay attention. It's stressful some days, it's boring. You will sit down one hour a day, two hours a day, listen. But just now, at the end of the day, you won't be here forever. As as fine as wrong, fine, rich, you don't be there forever. Even if you be a lecturer, you don't be there forever. So just struggle through that period. Put in your efforts. Whatever mark you get, you know, say, I'm at best. Mm-hmm. Don't be everybody good day, maybe boss class or anything higher than that. But just know that you put in your efforts, you gain the practical knowledge. Mm-hmm. Now, practical knowledge matters powerful. Yes. You like. Now, practical go, knowledge matters powerful. Go to the day for class, you know, if you do basic things. But you will come on be the practical knowledge that comes different. In this digital this. world now, like basic things like content creation, recording, videos, and what you look for right first class. You know, they know they look for first class. So they could just call you say, you get this key, you feel use Photoshop, you feel use this, you feel use that, you feel edit graphics. So that's all matters with people. Don't for, even if you're on a two one or a third or anything less than that, mm. you no know, say you get brain, you get skill. So I read your get book, don't carry to class to your papa, or five hundred kilos. When you say you can't carry to class to your papa, you know me. That's what people say. That was terrible. Oh well. But if if I say they go class, because sometimes if it's day class, you know like, but you don't know. If I say they go class, they try it, they do everything. It's no day where you're supposed to stay. Maybe everybody's supposed to stay there. Mm. So just keep calm, feel good about yourself. Don't be sad and be like, this girl don't need this. You know, that one don't mean anything. Forget. <laughs> oh. That one don't mean anything. Thanks, bro, for magic. Then thank you so much. This is the one that we I know this this episode is going to be this. Yeah, I feel blessed. So I've, I know I've this what like one of the things I've I've hoped to achieve. Like to so sit you down and it was Immediately I heard the story so that's me. No beauty no realistic. Other people go here and go there. These are things that people should learn from. These, these are things that should drive everybody's aid. So I'm just happy to like have your <laughs> rapport with shapes. That's my man shapes. <laughs> Hi. Alright guys, I hope you gained a thing or two from the story and I hope you feel inspired. Don't forget, it's never too late to discover your purpose and whatever you do, make sure you don't give up. Bye, I wish you the best.